You can't be what you can't see. Young people don't see enough South Asian role models in the game for them to feel like I can make something out of football. Everyone gets this question wrong. And the question that they ask is, when are we going to see more South Asian representation in professional football? Which is a good question, a very good question. However, there's a whole foundation that needs to be built. For a second, let's forget about um, professional football. Shouldn't we ask, when will we see more South Asian players playing in non-league football? Now, if they can't even get into semi-professional football, how on earth are they going to make it into professional football? I remember a game we were playing, our opposition player saying to one of the Asian players, Oi, terrorist, I'm going to shave your beard off. That exists. I've been at clubs, I've brought a South Asian player forward and he's impressed and come start of the season, he's completely dropped in favour of someone who's got a bit of a name about them. I've got a young Bengali family, who are friends of mine, we've got a, a five-year-old boy who is, in my opinion, fantastic. You know, he should be in an academy. And I've worked in football professionally and I can't get a professional club to look at him. Football needs to now accommodate the masses, not the masses accommodate football. And, and if we want to see change and if we want to see increase in participation and representation, football needs to adapt. Aston Villa come forward and said, look, we'd happily host you. And the Midnight Ramadan League was formed and it was just one day a week on a Friday night from 12 a.m till 2 a.m. It was there to create a support mechanism, a fitness, um, a safe space for young players to participate during Ramadan after, you know, going through the rituals of, of fasting throughout the course of the day. Since then, it's just gone bigger and bigger and bigger. But that couldn't have happened without the support of EA. For me, it was just the perfect time to, to get that exercise in. Whilst you're fasting, you've got time to, to open your fast and go to the mosque to pray the night prayers. And then at 11, 12 o'clock, it was, it was time for football which was which was perfect timing once we finished playing we all sort of gathered together in, in one of the rooms and we all sat and ate together and chatted and just spoke about how's Ramadan going how's the fasts going that that social side was was really nice as well for the kids playing FIFA and, and being able to play in these kits and play with these teams you would never have thought it not long ago having a kit that you sat down and designed with a local designer and that's inside FIFA that would have a massive massive effect on generations of young people that not are just South Asian but in general who observe Ramadan and celebrate Ramadan and fast during Ramadan how inclusive is that the yellow and black colors that we have that has a linkage to kind of Borussia Dortmund kind of family club who support the local communities refugees migrants in the area so Ramadan's all about giving and supporting those in need so we, we came up with an idea of the yellow and black it was just natural raw uh, imagination that if I thought about Ramadan what would Ramadan look like for me in terms of a football so for me it looked like a black and yellow it have a resemblance of a mosque or a place of worship and it'd have to do the moon and the stars I'm very confident that many young people will kind of look at that and say look this is this is me. I want a Ramadan league. Key.